The next lecture uh, is regarding prediction of long-term survival in patients receiving optimal secondary prevention therapy after MI as a fast MI registry. So we, we uh, then looked in the same registry with the same population of patients. We looked at the residual risk in the patients who were as we say, optimally treated. That is, they received antiplatelet agents, beta blockers, statins, and ACE inhibitors, or ARBs. Uh, we had 49% of these patients who received optimal medical therapy, and the first thing that we found was the patients who received optimal medical therapy were, on the average, at a much lower risk than the patients who did not whereas it should have been just the reverse if we had done well. Uh, the uh, three-year survival in patients receiving optimal medical therapy was 88%, and in those who did not receive the complete set of the whole four classes of recommended drugs, the survival was 77%, that is, a doubling of mortality. However, after adjusting for uh, confounders, we found that, the, that there was a, a lower benefit of optimal medical therapy compared with uh, no complete optimal medical therapy, but nevertheless it remained significant with a reduction in mortality of 18%. You see here the hazard ratio, which is 0.82, and that is clinically uh, significant, uh, so statistically significant. Then we looked at the uh, half of the patients who had optimal medical therapy, and we uh, tried to determine what were the uh, prognostic factors for three-year mortality. And we found in the multivariate analysis that there were three groups of factors. The first group here where it was related to the severity of the myocardial infarction and the severity of coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease extent, uh, extent of myocardial infarction, GRACE score. A second group of predictors was uh, related to comorbidities and the general picture of the patients. You see here older age, lower BMI, diabetes, history of stroke, history of cancer, all of these on which we can't intervene. And the last group of predictors was, I think, the most interesting one. It is that in these patients who received optimal medical therapy, uh, survival at three years remained associated with the early management during the acute phase. And you see here that, for example, STEMI patients who got reperfusion therapy had a 60% decrease in the risk of being dead after three years. Likewise, patients who were not managed invasively, those who had no coronary angiography, they had a doubling of their risk of mortality at three years. So to conclude, what we found was that Overall, the prescription of uh, optimal medical treatment at discharge was associated with an 18% reduction in the risk of three-year mortality. We found the usual healthier bias uh, in our cohort, that is that the patients who got optimal medical therapy were the less severe patients. And in patients with optimal medical therapy, three-year survival was associated with the initial management, and that is important because we can act on this component, to the extent of coronary artery disease and extent of myocardial infarction, the extent of myocardial infarction being quite uh, well related with the uh, first group, that is the initial management of the patients, and a third group of predictors on which, unfortunately, we can't act, which are uh, older age and comorbidities. So, in our mind, the, there, there is still a field for improvement uh, in the long-term outcomes of these patients admitted for myocardial infarction, and the main field of improvement is to improve their uh, initial management. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions? Okay.
Ihnen nicht mehr zu